So last time out with Grimsby, where do I even begin? We have now parted ways with Troy Deeney as manager and heading to our final running, which looks very close and needs someone new to steer the ship. As yes, people, welcome back. The kit is on. I am here and this is the Grimsby to glory where everything is getting harder. As this is what the team looks like, a very good team on paper, but in the league, as you just saw, very much in the thick of it. As this is the scenario, 196k in the bank, and you can see Troy Deeney right there. Not for long though. As you can see, we're pushing him out the door and we have a new manager who I'm going to introduce to you right now. Welcome, or should I say thank you for switching your role, Adam Lalana, as he's been the interim and he stepped into retirement to become the Grimsby manager, which means of course he's retired. I'm very thankful for it. As I'm gonna say, Adam, thank you so much for stepping in last minute and happy retirement, but the job is not done. To which he says, I know boss, I'm still gonna call you boss. We need to get this team safe and I want to do this manager thing. So me and Sean Pearson are gonna try everything we can to keep Grimsby up, starting with the players. As after immediately speaking to me, it looks like Lalana settled in the office and brought in club captain Danny Rose for a talking to. Danny, I know you're not gonna play much at Grimsby and I might not even be here as your manager for very long, but I trust you as a player and I loved our promotion together. So I want you to sign a deal to remain at Grimsby with me. And that looks like what Danny will do. Handshakes all around as the Mariners striker pens down a one-year deal. Adam, I love you already, mate, as we've got Sunderland to start off with a very good team as what's Lalana's team gonna look like? Seems very similar, another tired team, but I like it. So he hasn't really changed much personnel, but We've got to trust him. As here we go, the first game of the Lalana era. And of course, it's at Sunderland, a very difficult team. Jay Matete on the ball, an ex-Mariner who was on loan here. And of course, we are in January, so Lalana can still make signings. But we don't have much money to do so, but we could really do with players, as that is not going to start. For Adam Lalana, or not a good start, I should say. Jay Matete, the player I spoke about, showing the camera his shirt and celebrating against a former club. Don't know about that, mate. I really liked you when you were here, but now I don't really seem to. As Sunderland, a very good team. Kyle Jorge, a striker. Roberts in for two. And do we need to sack Lalana? straight away after this game? What a terrible start, but he still needs to clean this team up as Fiorini. Come on, wake up Grimsby. If you don't, I'll ring Troy Deeney, and I don't think any player in the team wants that as Pembele into Roberts, looking for another. He snuck past us, good tackle Mola, but still not away for the Mariners as a ball into Caio Jorge. 3-0 Sunderland. A horror first 45 in management for Lalana as Gilchrist with the block. He needs some support in front of the defense. Maybe Thompson has to step in. The new signing straight off the bench. Gilchrist with another block. Mundle into Caio Jorge. Terrible play from him as it could be another one side netting from Caio Jorge. And something needs to change. As Lalana backing this change, going to two CDMs with Thompson on the right. On a wolf on the right, sorry. And Savage in the playmaker role. He can go forward without looking back and we should get more cover in the defence. Despite being 3-0 down. As the game seems quite gone, but we need to use this as a trial period. See if this formation works. As Wilson carrying an attack. Not bad from this man. He's actually squeezed his way through into Charlie Savage in a good role. And he had some silky feet. But not enough to squeeze through. Although Washington, if we're onside with Wilson, it could be a goal back. Pasolik has missed it. As how do you miss that? And it's back to them running at us. Another goal again from Jay Matete. As a defeat at the hands of Sunderland, 4-0 is very heavy, but Lalana's first game in charge, 
and I'm not going to judge him too much for it. As the press say, Adam, a horrific start to management. How do you feel you can save this Grimsby town side? To which he says, look, it's not going to be easy. I knew that as a player playing in this league, but me and Pearson are determined to do what's right. And I think that is this formation, which went very well for us. Thompson instead of Fiorini, say it quietly, but he's a brilliant change. Allows Greeny back on the bench, another OG. You don't mind seeing it. And of course, he can step into that role and make some crunching tackles. As let's say Fiorini's been a disappointment. Coming from Manchester City and Blackpool, had experience at this level, but it hasn't worked out for him. And actually, does that mean we could do with another midfielder? Malachi Boateng of Crystal Palace is lonely stood. And I wouldn't mind bolstering the team as I only want him on a short term loan. I don't want him forever. And plus, we don't have much money. As it looks like we've got a deal, Adam Lallana using his Premier League contacts with Oliver Glasner that should land him a player. And let's be honest, it's better than Livermore, who just didn't have the legs for this league. Troy Deeney absolutely screwing us by just signing one of his mates. But Jordan Ayew, on the other hand, I do see a little bit left in him. Sure, he's losing his legs a bit, but he's been quite decent. And here comes a new man just signing before deadline day. A very exciting prospect for the bench from Lalana. Like having him in, as this is done on deadline day. Malachi, welcome to the fight. Roll your sleeves up and get ready. As he's actually higher rated than Thompson, but Thompson's got some better stats. And of course, he is a permanent player, so he will be starting over him. And any bids in on deadline day, one for Clinton Moller from Lecce. Quite decent price, but we need our left back. Can't lose defenders in a relegation battle as we need to start progressing. I'd say up to QPR, which by the time we reach could be a vital game in survival. But Adam Lalana moves on next to his ex club Southampton. You've got a fully fit team here, Adam. We're going to do the highlights. They will be very high in the league. And two difficult games to start with. Away in the very top of the northeast to on the south coast in Southampton as they are going to get the first chance. And that looks like a good ball through to them. It's on to Suarez who's got it straight into Joel Arebo to strike. And that is 1-0 Saints already. You could just see that happening. Some very difficult games, but Washington on a run here. And he does use Pasalik, who Southampton wanted to buy. And it's Marco Pasalik leveling it out against the good team. I cannot speak. Brilliant goal from a very fitting player here, which may get us a draw. But of course, we will fight for more. This is a good ball through. What a ball onto Washington to run it through. We could beat the Saints here. Washington opens his body to score. We are in front in a highlight package, which I believe has never happened. What a feeling this is against a very high-flying team as Marco Pasalic. He's on one with a good ball into Kane Wilson, who should look for Washington over the top. Brilliant ball into David Washington. The formation is working and Washington should have two. I can't even speak properly as, oh my days, after all our hard work on Uwachu with a penalty. Big Din, please come on. He's sent the wrong way. And it's now 2-2 in a very crucial game right here. We needed all three points. We had all three points in the locker as there's a counter-attack. And look at the clock. We're literally in the 90th minute. And Fiorini, come on. You've got to try and take your chance again. You're out with the team as Pasalik. A beautiful ball through to the Croatian who has to look up to chip it. And Washington with the open net surely beats the Saints. 3-2 the Mariners. What a game and what a win for Adam Lallana against his former club. It was written in the stars as that will build momentum, hopefully, to get us away from the relegation zone. Adam Lallana's black and white army. What a fantastic result as it's on to Portsmouth next, though, who have played a game extra and sit three points behind. Crucial stuff. And we've got to pick our games very carefully, but I am going to go for a sim 
as we've already played Portsmouth. At least we're staying on the coast this time round. No need for loads of travelling and a nil-nil draw. At least we didn't lose the game. I'll take it, but what I will take even further is beating Swansea, who we should have beat first time round, and a draw one apiece this time. Which does keep us afloat before Preston, who we beat last time, and Jordan Ayew, along with Washington, makes it four unbeaten. Adam, I've got to come and visit you and say thank you for what you're doing with the team. You and Sean Pearson, are putting up a fight. Love the formation change and love the signing of Boateng and loving that Thompson's playing, things are starting to click. Which Lalana says, thank you, boss, but I do ask two things. The first one, please keep your head as the season's far from over. And the second, I don't mean to be a little bit rude right here, but when we do go for a new manager, can I be considered as one? I know I'm only a few games in and we didn't have a good time at Sunderland, but I am loving my role, so I want to put my name in the hat. And what do you guys think, of course? That is the most crucial thing. I'd love it even more if he could beat Blackburn. A 3-1 defeat, but I mean, it's 4 unbeaten before it. And we are very close to the derby against Hull City, which we will be playing this time. And it is actually our next fixture. We're going to play Hull. And I believe Brentford would be a good tester. Would be nice to see. As Charles Vernon's left the club, even Lalana couldn't get him to stay. He was gone because of Dini. But he's off to play at the Leaning Tower Stadium of Pisa as this is the team going into Hull City. The Derby game has passed Lick up to an 87 rated. Marriott has slipped off a little bit. I'd like to see more from him. I want to try and demand it, but I know nothing's guaranteed as we are into Hull City into the lion's den literally the derby is amongst us at the kcom stadium and we're in the ugly kit against the black and amber army as in the simulation a huge win against southampton but of course in the last played game embarrassment against sunderland savage going steaming in but we do have cover in this defense which i absolutely love to see Jaden philogenes a dangerous man into adama triore come on just keep watching them. Javi Simmons in the middle. Triore to blast it at Tharm. Early pressure from the hosts in the derby game as Wilson. We need to pass this away from the back. And Pasalic with the turn. Our main man on the run as well. As here he goes. Marco Pasalic. No one catching him as he's going to cut inside. And it's a good cut inside with Washington running through. And Washington strikes the post. As we should have an early lead. But it shows good counter-attacking football. Which is still our game plan. Despite being in a derby game. As Illich over the top. Very close from the hosts. Struggling to get his shot off as we struggle to get the ball back. Watch the pullback. Triore slips it in the near post. How have we been beaten from that kind of angle? Emre, I have praised you all the time, but that is embarrassing. Especially on Derby Day, as now we need to find a way back into it. Wolf looking for the ball through. He looks more comfortable with Thompson aside him, but not comfortable enough to have the points in the bag just yet because we're having no points. 1-0 Hull, but I do trust in Lalana. Just need to, well, get a better goalkeeper who can save shots, although I don't want to sign another one as Pasalic. Come on, we need to start very strongly, Charlie Savage. Terrible ball. Thought the run was happening from Marriott as Gilchrist has committed, leaving Doug... At the back, Illich with a step inside of Moller, and now they could get another. Doug Tharm with a good tackle. And get it away, get it away. There we go. Wolf with the turn into Kane Wilson with the runaway. A decent bit of pace from the wing back into Pasalik. Marco Pasalik, he's all alone on this wing, and he can't get it back in the middle. Not our day. Not our day. Hull City reading everything with the ball into the box right here, and... That is not a penalty, and he has given it on Derby Day. Oh, my days, and it's no replay. Big Din, please. Oh, my days, he doesn't redeem himself. 2-0 to the Tigers, and we're mauled by the rivals in a game that could send us down. Come on, just one goal in a Derby. 
to show something for the fans. Thompson, come on. Look, he loves to charge forward from deep as well. It's brilliant work from the ex-Derby man. Lays it off to Pasalik with a run over the top from Wilson. And that's a brilliant ball from the Croatas. A ball into the middle for Savage, who should have got it past the last man. But a bit better play, just a little bit too late into the game as Traore through the middle. A ball onto Lewis Vaughan. And Illich could kill it off here with a ball into Kadir. It's hit the hand of Clinton Mola. Another penalty hull. As when this goes in, you know there's going to be a huge roar in the stadium. Penenka into the side netting. Literally two brilliant penalty moves in one. And a throbbing really in the derby. Yes, two penalties. One undeserved as is Ladanas or Adam Lalana's honeymoon over. As he's not headed to the press after a derby game. That's interesting. As you can see, we still are afloat and we do have a five point gap, making me feel quietly confident as we do get beat by Bristol City. Harry Cornick with the goal. And of course, he's a good veteran. Veteran beating the veteran as now there's a vulnerable side to Lalana. Come on, mate. Just a bit more improvement. Get us over the line, please. I mean, get us over the line, but then you might not have a job. And it's actually going to be hard to get us over the line with three games in the same week. Not the fixtures that you want. Let's look at that as well. The next episode is going to have Cardiff bottom of the league. Peterborough again, Ipswich are near us, and then we've got Norwich, Luton, and West Brom as our last three, which is very, very difficult. Haven't seen where they are, but are we going to beat Middlesbrough? Oh my days, the wheels are off. Lalana, the wheels are coming off. Not the result we wanted as Cardi for the team trying to chase us. Peterborough have gone above us. Same with Ipswich, a bit of a gap and a bit of a fatigued team with no Charlie Savage going to play for Wales. He's got to that 75 rating, which kind of gets him into national duty. Making it difficult for us, especially with a huge challenge at the GTEC Stadium against what was once a Premier League team. But Lalana beat the Saints, who of course are an ex-Premier League team, but they were his old team, so maybe he had a... Bit of a clued up mindset. Brentford, a lot harder. They've got Roberto and Buemo. Ben Mee is getting marked as the ball's into their box. Or our box as Buemo with the corner kick. And it's a very good header. Lucky not to be 1-0 down there. As another corner, literally, in the same minute of the game. It didn't go out for a corner, the last one. And we need to get our head to this. Ben Mee is the one to do so. And we still haven't cleared the ball. And Kyogo has hit the bottom corner. Can we just hoof it? Not very good from the lads. Come on. And another corner. Literally now two minutes after their opening goal. And Buemo running through. Embarrassing for them, really. And this looks like a long ball. If Washington can get on the end of this and head it down, he doesn't. Beaten by Good, an ex Scunthorpe player, so we need to get past him somehow. And we might do right here. Pasalik into the bottom corner. The highlight straight after highlights the quality of Pasalik. 1 1 on the night, and we're not going down without a fight. Poet, and I don't know it, but what I know now is a big chance for Brentford. And Buemo, Kane Wilson with the block. You love to see it, but the waves will not stop here. The bees stinging us if they can do, but we won't let them. And can we have a chance, please? I mean, we want to draw the game at least, but we could win it with Danny Rose running through on goal. He's not got the legs much more, but Ben Mee doesn't as Danny hits a shot. And oh, it's gone to Mark. Lecken, Danny man, Danny, but we've still got another chance, you know, Danny Rose running through again, it's not Mark Flecken this time, it's good, as there's a back heel there, and I don't know what he was doing, hitting the deck very weirdly, as don't let them late on, please, we've done so well defensively, Fabio Carvalho playing for them, Exhal City, as on Yaker. big tackle Matty, and are you kidding me? The refs just gave it a free kick. I'm not going to run to the line. And a big save from Emery. Very good from the keeper. And a very good point against Brentford. 1-1. Lalana on the march again. We'll see. We'll see. As another London club travelling to us this time. 
A fatigued team, but Kane Wilson's hit form, and it's another 1-0 over QPR, so two brilliant results, and that should be very good for the league table. As look at that right there, six points clear of Portsmouth, but Cardiff, Ipswich, Millwall, and Peterborough to play.